الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا يوافي نعمه يكافي مزيدا الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا يوافي نعمه يكافي مزيدا الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا يوافي نعمه ويكافي مزيدا the prophet said if you say that three times in the morning and the evening then if you say it sincerely from your heart it's enough of gratitude to allah but really be in a state of gratitude to allah because this this is just such a blessing to be afforded this leisure time to cultivate our, our spirits and our minds, especially before Ramadan, you know, because this is going to be an excellent preparation. Inshallah, this will be the best Ramadan that we have. May Allah give us a, a beautiful Ramadan and a beautiful uh, Sha'ban is a great, we're going to be here. You know, a, a nice thing also about the Sunni country, this uh, Sunni country is they, they really honor the traditional days, like the Nuf Sha'ban is a big night, you know. It's a big night. I'll tell you, there's a khilaf about it, which is fine. It's a khilaf. Imam Malik did not practice Sha'ban, Nus Sha'ban. Imam Malik himself, he didn't. The hadiths were from the people of Sham. Al Awza'i considered it a big night. The Sham ulama of the Tabi'een all elevated Nus Sha'ban. But it spread throughout the world, and the Malikis ended up celebrating it. So even though Imam Malik, it's fine. If people don't want to celebrate, that's fine. But Ibn Rushd gave a great qaida. Ibn Rushd said, if you ever have an ikhtilaf about the rahmah of Allah, always err on the side of rahmah. <laughs> you know, if there's a valid ikhtilaf, does the Quran get to dead people or doesn't it? He just said, look, just consider it that it gets there because it's rahmah. And wherever there's more rahmah, then there's more Islam.